It was the summertime on the island of Sodor. Everyone was very busy, like my ex-wife trying to destroy my livelihood. <laughs> but no place was busier than the Little Western, with Duck and Oliver pulling passengers and the twin engines pulling freight. One afternoon, the engines were at Knapford when Sir Fatsalaw showed up. Hello, Trange. Now you might be surprised to see me during this time of day. Indeed. Aren't you supposed to be taking your 10 insulin shots today? Ho <laughs> ho, no, Jack. It's 15. Sure, I'll make this quick before I jam about uh, 10 minutes. General and Jugglish, I need you to collect the Mega Train. Sir, no one has pulled the Mega Train before and lived to tell the tale. I <laughs> know, you're dead meat. But, sir. Sorry, can't hear dead people. Well, we best get going. We'll see you two later. Hi, Oliver. Care to place a little wager? What is it? That Mike the Miniature Engine can beat Murdoch the 9th in a fight? Mike the Miniature Engine beating Murdoch the 9th? <laughs> sure, I'll bet $20 on that. Alright, I'll take the front. I'll take from behind. That's what she said. Let's move, Donny. Right. One, two, three! And the winner is Mike! How? <laughs> I gotta tell Oliver about this. Hey, it's me, Knock Knock. So, uh, you got my money? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'll send it to you soon. Yeah, well, um, here's a suggestion. Have the money by tomorrow, and there aren't going to be any problems. Huh? You have 24 hours. Why? What happens in 24 hours? Uh, I don't know, I'm not psychic, man. I'm Great Western. I'm just saying, it would be better for everybody if you had the money tomorrow. Yeah, uh, alright, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Cool, 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 no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, great, great. Yeah. Uh, how is everything else going? Fine. All right, all right. See you later. Uh, don't forget. Ah, uh, you're not gonna forget. All right, time to get these children to market. Oh no. What do we do, Trava? Scatter! Nice day for it, isn't it? Man, this sucks. You shouldn't have pulled me so much. Are you kidding me? There's child flesh on my face. This was the most unlikely set of circumstances and you criticise my double heading skills. Hey man, I wasn't the one pulling so much. What is wrong with you today? When Donald got back from the washdown, he was still upset with Douglas. And Douglas was still upset with Donald. Um, hey. Oh, hey there. So it's been 24 hours. You got my money? Uh... You know what? No, just give me till next Friday. I'll have it for you then. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I could have sworn uh, I said have it in today. Yeah, I don't have it. Uh, sorry. Mm, all right then. <sighs> ah, that's good water. Ah! Yeah, did that hurt? Did it hurt? What the heck? Oh. oh. Yeah, does it feel so good, does it? No? Huh? Yeah, that's what happens, man. Yeah, that's what happens. Where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Where's my money, man? Nah. <laughs> you got till five o'clock, you hear me? You got till five o'clock. You freaking psychopath! Clean yourself up. Uh, what, what the heck happened to you? I, um, got hit by a runaway. 
Oh, well, you should be more careful, Oliver. Meanwhile, Sir Topham had arrived at the yard to talk with the twins. Okay, I will make this very quick as I am simultaneously blackout drunk and wasted level high. Gerald, you gotta work at the smelter's yard. Wait, what happened to Stepney? Um... Ah! He retired. Uh, okay. Aren't you guys gonna miss each other? I thought you guys were like friends to the point where you're borderline dating or something. I work better on my own. I'll be glad to work with Doc. Okay then, jeez. And Donald puffed away. Yeah, thank you, I'm aware narrator. Shut up, Thomas. <gasps> Morning, Jack. Good day to you, sir. Wait a minute, what the heck? <laughs> oh. Getting real tired of you ducking me, man. Yeah, yeah, getting real tired. What? Ah, a nice cup of joe. Where's my money, man? Where's my money? Yeah, you got money to pay for fake mustaches, huh? Yeah, yeah, how much did you pay for that fake mustache? Two ninety-nine. Wow! You, you look, you're gonna give me more time. Ow! Don't make a fool out of me, man. Don't make a fool out of me. I want my money. I want my money, man. Doc, listen. This is crazy. You're gonna... Oh, my gosh. Ah! All right. All right. Let's go to the bank. Wait, no. D Donald, the, the buffers are out. Donald. Wait, what? Ah! Ouch. I swear you people can't have one day without an accident. Thanks for helping me, Dougie. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. I was stupid and insensitive. Dead kids aren't a joke. I think someone else needs to hear that. Hey, I didn't write the script. I'm sorry for... Wait, no. I kinda got the short end of the stick. I didn't do anything wrong. So, Oliver, we're even now, right? Uh, ready to start a new job today? I got my money. Your wounds have healed up very nicely. Do trains have wounds? <laughs> well, anyway, what do you say we let Great Western bygones be bygones? You shot me in both my front wheels and then lit me on fire. Go away. All right, all right, I'll tell you what. You get one free revenge shot at me anytime you want. Okay, but I'm not going to tell you when it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, when's the beating gonna come, Oliver? Just tell me when it's gonna come. Just do it something, please, anything. Look, look, I'll do it. I'll do it first. Oh, 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 Look, I'll do it worse now. <laughs> look how hurt I am. <laughs> We're even now. Come on, Oliver, please. 